மித்ரோம் அண்ட் பந்துவோம் வெல்கம் டு சவுத் ஏஷியா மேப்ஸ் சவுத் ஏஷியா மேப்ஸ் ஈஸ் என் எஜுகேஷன் சேனல் வி ஆர் கண்டினியூயிங் அவர் ஃபேசினேட்டிங் ஜெர்னி ஆன் ஹியூமன் இக்காலஜி a sub playlist called population human ecology population this is the part to 73 21st century is a bottleneck century is a very very important presentation and especially those born after 2000 ad has to be aware of you are going to live or living in a bottleneck century what is a bottleneck century what are the limitations after this presentations you will get a fascinating view and if you are new to my presentations this is south asia maps uh, youtube channel south asia maps jrd and i have posted uh, more than 280 or so videos on varied topics and presentations you can go and look them and uh, they are in diverse fields so some will definitely meet your requirements and coming back to the today's presentation the 21st century is a bottleneck century the series is uh, most of the work done by dr william cotton junior and William Cotton Jr professor of human ecology at Washington State University east of Cascade Mountains Pullman south of 49th parallel separating United States and Canada his pioneering book overshoot the ecological basis of a revolutionary changes that are happening in the planet earth today it's a sequel bottleneck and most of the ideas come from here <coughs> excuse me and i add my the knowledge of the global systems uh, for the audience and uh, today we are discussing the part 73 this is the 21st century is the bottleneck century a constricted century and uh, we looked at uh, before that lot of human populations at uh, uh, the provinces of india will the family planning really help how much help it will do in the planet earth a lot of other the human elephant of 8 billion population in the planet earth and various countries and of course in the first 50 series we looked at the various basic concepts of human ecology that affects you your life day to day life taking over carrying capacity drawing down uh, phantom carrying capacity so this will give you a new ecological outlook of day to day political social economic lives this is a new paradigm lot of people are not aware so that will give you new inkling and if you go and look at my presentations so the bottle next century 21st century this is the bottle this is the neck of the bottle we start 21st century starts with the 2000 ad continues including that 2029 this 21st century will be entering into 2100 that's what 21st century is at the beginning of the century on the planet earth we have around about 6 billion people that means 6 followed by 3 zeros 6 billion is same as 6000 million in india they call it 600 crores 6 billion people <coughs> this video is recorded around about 2022 october and so uh, within few months by 2023 somewhere here you will have 8 billion people on the planet earth the projected population by 2050s the middle of this century around about 10 billion and afterwards the population will not be increasing for variety of reasons that i will discuss in future presentations so we enter 50s 60s 70s so there will be very lot less number of people on the planet earth that's why it is the bottleneck century bottleneck means because we have there is excess population on the planet earth we have damaged the habitat of the planet earth environment 
this brought carrying capacity deficits there is more ecological load human load the land can support so in the subsequent generations instead of population increase population decreases remember human population has increasing continuously since long time but in the coming years the population decreases so this is a bottleneck happens in the decrease of population that happens in this century so 21st century is a bottleneck century before that i have made other presentation if you go to the presentation number 20 that means there are 8000 million people in the planet earth by 2025 how can you remember them very easily you can look at that particular presentation in the playlist human ecology essentially one two two three is eight billion north america around about south two americas one billion europe and africa two billion then india and china this three billion the rest of Asia is 2 billion. So 1, 2 and 2 is 5, 3, 8 billion. We adjust a little bit, but that gives you very broad pop a picture so that uh, you will be very uh, knowledgeable and you can follow the series easily. This is coming back to 21st century. So bottleneck is narrowing of the life opportunities. The standard of living are many things we are doing today. For there is a, there will be less numbers essentially bottleneck expanding population overuse the habitat and brought carrying capacity deficits carrying capacity is the number of people a land can support habitat can support the habitat can be a village a district a province a state even a country a continent or even the entire planet earth how many number of people it can support when you talk about the people you should ask Keep in mind the living standards of the people also. A simple life, people, more people can be supported. If people are using the cars and automobiles and so many modern appliances, less people can be supported. That is a carrying capacity. So, in subsequent generation, the population decreases rather than the population continue to increase. That was the normal case so far. The population is bottlenecked now. So let's go to in 1500 when the navigation occurred. Navigation, the discoveries of the from the Europeans like to Americas, Australia and so on. 1500, there used to be 500 million people. By 1818, these years are a little bit I twisted so that you can remember very easily. So that minor twisting is not a serious concern. And even different sources give a different years also 1818 you remember there is 1 billion people on the planet earth 1919 after world war one 2 billion in the nixon demitted office due to watergate 1974 there used to be 4 billion in 2000 there are 6 billion and 2050 is supposed to be 10 billion these are projected populations by 2099 there will be a lot less people. That means instead of population generally increasing from 500 to around about 10 billion, 0.5 billion, 10 billion, this is decreases. Eventually, that is the decreasing population. Now, this is the bottleneck century. So, to give you the historical, ecological perspective, here I have put 8000 BC. There used to be around about 8 billion people on the planet Earth. Eight, sorry, 8 million people. Agriculture started with agriculture, stable food production, stable nutrition. They formed in small communities, lived in the villages. Food was there, stored for an entire year. So it's very easy. Population increased, increased, and increased. At 1 AD, there used to be around about uh, at 100 or 150 million or even 200 million people used to be there. Then 1500 years, there is a 500 million people. Then 1800, steam engine was discovered. Once the steam engine was discovered, man's ability to draw down. The drawing down means this is the one. There are two ways to increase the carrying capacity. One is taking over of the land. Humans take over the land from their competitors, flora and fauna, increase the carrying capacity for themselves. Then drawing down the 
drastically increase the carrying capacity rather to say overload this drawing down in a sense drilling work temporary non-renewable minerals metals and coal and natural gas that i discussed in part three you can go and look at it later for further details that is the drawing down the drawing down got us into industrial agriculture, the green revolution, tremendous amount of food production, drawing down also increased the technological overload, modern medicine and almost everybody is now born in the hospitals and immunized and assured to live around about 70 or 80 years and so the industrial agriculture due to drawing down oil, natural gas, those all those things overloaded the population of the planet earth that means from 1800 there is 1 billion by 2006 billion by middle of the century there will be 10 billion afterwards uh, the oil drum will collapse by 2050 there will be less oil present on the planet earth almost no natural gas means you cannot carry industrial agriculture the human ability to produce the food will drastically challenge that means the numbers has to come down very drastically on the planet earth that is about the 21st century is a bottleneck century for the human beings and there is no solution for that we can alleviate uh, uh, to a certain extent if human being less down and they consume less resources and so on that is a different aspect so essentially as we move in this century more and more number of people cannot come from this century go to the next century that means the population cannot increase as generally most people expect that's what it is the 21st century is a population bottleneck century is a bottleneck century in 1500 navigations and discoveries discovered the new land uh, americas and australia the population then steam engine discoveries in the western europe made industrialization possible then the green revolution that overloaded the population of the earth to round about 8 billion now it will be 10 billions by middle of the century and afterwards the bottleneck will restrict to this population that's the very important aspect i wanted to talk about the 21st century as a bottleneck century for the humankind thank you very much mitram and banduam joining me today and if you like the presentations i appreciate uh, you subscribe the channel and bring the content to the notice of your friends we'll continue our fascinating series further See you later. Thank you very much.